Hey, I'm Jen. And I'm Lindsay. Hi. And I want to do a since we last met. What's your name? Maddox. What happened this last weekend? I got sick. Hmm. And what happened after you got sick? I went to the hospital. They, you went to the hosp hospital? Mm hmm Because you were having a hard time breathing, right? Mm hmm Yeah. Are you feeling better now? Mm-hmm. Have we been using oils on you? Mm-hmm. What? All right. So on Friday, Maddox was having a little bit of respiratory junk going on. Yeah. And that's always stressful, especially when you're out of town and your husband calls yes. you in the middle of the night and says, I think I'm going to take him to the ER. So what do I first say? But at first, did you put oils on him? <laughs> so the answer was yes, but he still needed a little bit of extra support. And that's one thing that I always want my, or our, our, oh my what's mine is yours. <laughs> our viewers to understand is that modern medicine is I there. I thought you were going to say our children. And I was like, well, we don't actually... We're not actually we to that point yet. We don't have kids. I don't know you well it's, enough. It's, it's kids together. I don't know you well the enough. The struggle's for that. real today. Anyway, so I just want everyone to understand that I am by no means modern medicine. And there's a time and place that, you know, you need to seek further medical attention, which we do in our home. So yeah. Maddox went to the ER. He needed a little bit of extra support for his breathing. But when we, when he got home, we started really hitting it hard with the oils. And right. some of our fav favorite oils for any sort of respiratory distress are Breathe, Capiba, Lime. So the reason I like Lime, if that- Marjoram? Marjoram. Not Marjoram. 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 Or mar not Marjorie, Marjorie, the neighbor, but Marjoram. <laughs> so Marjoram- Is she the one that plays the organ? <laughs> no, that's Ruth. 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 That's actually <laughs> Ruth. Never mind. Ruth's good though. She's amazing at the organ. So uh, Breathe, Lime, Marjoram, Capiba, and then like a fur oil are really good. So they're going to help get everything. Siberian, Douglas. Yes. Yeah. Doug and Siberian, my two faves. Okay. Dougie. Dougie. So I actually do usually lean towards Douglas fur for my respiratory Biblical. blend. I know. <laughs> I'm a sucker for anything named Doug. So I... <laughs> Sorry, Rich. <laughs> So I like that because those are going to help get your airways physically back to where they need to be. Mm -hmm. The lime oil is going to help to cut back on the congestion that you're feeling because it's a good, what's that word to get rid of the snot? Expectorant. It's really good it expectorant. Like, and gargle? then, yeah, gargle. <laughs> Hockaloogie? Yeah. Want a Hockaloogie? I've been listening to Finding Nemo. That's the name of their... So their those bottle. are some good ones. And I just get a little roller bottle and I put it on his on his chest. And he's doing amazingly well. Even yeah, with like the next day, I was like, wow, this is awesome. It's just Monday morning and he was supposed to go to school. So of course he was sick. It's like Sunday-itis. <laughs> I think I'm, I think I'm, I'm sick. I'm sorry, mother. I feel ill. <laughs> I can't go to school today. <laughs> So anyway, that's my since you've been gone story. What about you? Um, I also have a, had a little dude. My three-year-old was, I thought he was barfing at the top of the stairs, which parents do not run out of their bedrooms faster than when you hear that beloved sound. So I'm racing upstairs. I take him into like the hallway restroom and I realize, oh, he's having a, like he's gasping. He's having a hard time breathing. So I was like, panic. First, panic first, and then I closed the door, I turned the shower on super hot, got him calmed down so that he wasn't crying because he was scared, you know, and then um, I did the same thing, only I felt like I panicked some more on top of that. So I took him into our room, I did um, breathe in the diffuser, I got a humidifier going on in there, and then uh, I really like the breathe stick. Um, which is, I don't know what's in it that makes it, it's not waxy, but it's like a gel. Anyway, I put that on his chest and on his feet, put socks on, and he was able to um, relax enough to go back to sleep. And I know this because I stayed up all night staring at him like a hawk, <laughs> watching his chest rise and fall and making sure that he was breathing, as mothers do. You're welcome. Um, we also had a situation where... My beloved decided to clean his grill. And not, his not, teeth. This, not his teeth. Not this grill. Um, we have a smoker that had built up an extensive amount of, I don't know, whatever sticks to the stuff. Did it start on fire? It did not start on fire. No. But he thought, why would I want to buy one that is, you know, natural 
when I could buy this corrosive one and then not read the directions on the bottle, which says, clearly says, to wear leather gloves up to your elbow. But who needs that? We ain't got to have a reading. We got a grill to clean. Anyway, he comes inside and he's covered in grease. And as he's washing it, I was like, oh my gosh, what is that? And he's like, oh, it's just grease. No, it was his skin. Okay, his skin is coming off of his bones. Like the men in black, Edgar, his skin's hanging off your bones. Did you ever watch that? Anyway. Yes, I did. Anyway, his skin is like coming off in chunks. And I was like, oh, that's great, that's great. Anyway, he washes it all off and then I'm like, and please go take a shower. And then please throw whatever you touch in the shower into the trash. And I never want to see it again. And let's burn those clothes. No, we didn't, but we should have. Anyway, um, when everything got all cleaned off, I made a little tiny spray. I have like these little wee little baby uh, spray bottles. And I put frankincense, melaleuca, lavender, and coconut oil on. And I just had him spray it on the flesh wounds. And the redness, <laughs> the redness went away. But I mean, he's missing like a chunk of his arm, a chunk of his finger. I was like, oh, you can see like lines where he had hit the grilling. It's like he grilled himself, basically. Oh my gosh. Only there was no heat involved. It was chemical burns. It's disgusting. Okay, so you, I also just saw you post an article about how there's cleaning products that have been causing deaths. Oh my gosh, what was that? Like Buffalo Wild Wings or is that the name of the place? Maybe. Buffalo. BW. B-dubs. B-dubs. They had somebody die because they were exposed to a cleaning agent. Yeah. I was like, and I remember I could actually hear your voice in my head when you were like, why would I want to eat on any surface that has been cleaned with something that is... Could kill me if yes. I drink it? And I didn't... I have strict I don't know no policy about that. <laughs> I don't know what the full story is on that, but I was like, oh my gosh, this is so sad. Um, and part of the reason why we switched to like more natural cleaning products anyway, because our kids are walking around with bottles of cleaners. Yeah. You know, drinking them. So. So, okay. So what would you use for your grill instead? Talking about toxic and deadly chemicals to clean with. I have no idea, to be honest with you. That thing is its own animal. But there, I mean... At the store, they sell like branded things that are, you know, non-corrosive, natural mm -hmm. cleaners. And he made the conscious decision to not choose one of those. I personally feel like a failure. <laughs> like, what have you learned from me? <laughs> Obviously nothing. I am doing the work here, people. I am doing the work. So. I'm not a slacker. <laughs> Baby stepping. Anyway, anyway, Bob. Um... So uh, one recommendation I would have <laughs> yes, is tell if me. you ever have like a pan that you fried bacon in or something in and you like cannot get it clean. Mm -hmm. So if you put a little bit of baking soda in it and scrub it and it comes off really well. So I wonder if he was to try that on his grill. Not, I mean, he could use it on this grill too. That's the, that's the, that's the beauty. Non-corrosive. That's the horse sense. <laughs> the horse sense of the man. Yes. 10 points if you can guess the movie we just referenced. Um, <laughs> but you could try that. You could also try some lemon. Lemon yes. oil is really good to cut down grease. So I just kind of- Orange? Yeah, lemon orange is good orange. too. So I just pull out all the, the things and kind of find out what works. And then when all it spells, light it on fire and it burns off. That's true. It anyway. was, that was horrifying though, you guys. I was like, and that he didn't know that like, Pieces of her flesh were coming off. Were falling like, off. It was it was That's upsetting. Terrible. It was upsetting. It was upsetting. So yeah, we have that going on. And then um, I also kind of going back to the natural cleaners. We have switched over to like the DoTerra cleaning concentrate, which I like because it's easy and one I don't of have my to favorites. Mix. You can just like squeeze it in the toilet yes. and then scrub it or get the brush. Well, I'm talking about like assigning my kids to clean stuff. Oh. Because you I give them the kids. spray bottle, well, uh, yeah, sure, it's bribes. Anyway, they go and they spray things down, and I am not worried about it, and that is nice because then they spray each other, right? Because yeah. it always like devolves into that, into mm -hmm. some sort of fight. So mm -hmm. well, that's funny. My kids don't I fight got, though. <laughs> oh, the, uh, I forgot. I forgot. <laughs> We're operating on a higher level here. <laughs> We're like ropes on the Goodyear blimp. <laughs> also, what about Bob reference? Not as popular, but. Anyway. All right, so I want to know, since you've watched one of our videos last, are these called videos? YouTube videos. Yes. <laughs> yes. Okay. okay. 
What have, what's what's Our happening? Our feature length film. Yes. Since we last created a motion picture. What have you used? Like what's worked well for you? And you could even just like type in the name of one product. Like purify, cleaning. I don't know. I just want to know what you've used because yeah. I'm always looking for good ideas. So like, comment. comment. That's right. And subscribe. Su yes. And we love you. We really do. Adios. Uh, I forgot how we started this. It's been too long. I'm Jen and I'm Lindsay.